Hey guys, so today we're going to cook a crispy beef uh, stir fry on the Poiki King. Um, coals are up and ready and going. We've got our wok we're going to stick on. And then first job is to get the oil in obviously. So you're needing two cups of oil to get going. So we're going to get those in and let that heat up whilst we're getting the other stuff ready. We're going to put the recipe underneath the video so you can check out all the quantities and stuff. one on there heating up nicely and then we're gonna prepare the beef so first of all you need some eggs so you're gonna take four eggs some nice free-range eggs here Crack four eggs in nice dead simple recipe nice and quick eggs in there, give those a bit of a mix up, and then we've got some flour and some salt in here, so this is going to be to coat the beef, so you get that in there, give that a good mix up. Coat all of that beef nicely in this, makes it go nice and crispy. Nicely mixed in there. Move that out the way. Right, and we're going to get our beef in there, and you want to coat that nicely in all of this. wants to be up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're probably going to have to wait a minute or two. Uh, a good way if you don't have a thermometer to check that is um, little cubes of bread. So once your temperature is, uh, once your oil is up to heat, if you log one of those in, about 30 seconds it should go brown and that will be about the right temperature for, for your oil. So we're just going to let that heat up for a minute more so it's nice and hot. You can see it's starting to move around in there see nice and brown nice and hot take that out and then we can add the beef Okay, so we're going to take this beef off, nice and crispy now. Obviously you want to cook it until it's crispy, so depending on how thick you've cut the beef, this might take, this took a couple of minutes longer, because it's a little bit thicker than matchstick size. It doesn't really matter. On some paper towel to drain a bit and then we're going to get the carrots in there and deep fry those for a minute as well obviously you've got all the flavors of the beef in there so we're going to return that just to get hot again so that it gets up to temperature before we try and deep fry the carrots just leave that for a couple of minutes okay so that Oil is back up to temperature. I'm gonna get these carrots in there. And just a little bit at a time so it doesn't cool the oil too quickly. OK, 
Okay, so those carrots are ready to come off. Pop them out on some paper as well. That doesn't disappear. onion and your garlic and you'd add your chili in now if you wanted to as well I'm not adding chili because my little girls don't like chili and the heat for a couple of minutes, 30, oh, sorry, 30 seconds, not a couple of minutes. Okay, so the spring onions are done with the garlic and now we're gonna add our soy sauce and wine vinegar and then also the sugar as well. And give that a stir, this makes up the sauce. Stir that around until the sugar melts and you've got a nice sauce going on before we add the other bits back in. Okay, so you can see our sauce is nice and hot. The sugar is melted in there. So now we're going to add back in our carrots and our beef. Warm that all back through. over everything give that a minute to warm up all right guys that's all done I'm gonna take that off I've got some noodles here that we're gonna serve it on today you can serve it on rice or whatever you like Koi and enjoy it is as simple as that and that there is dinner sorted for me and my girls tonight. <laughs>